the thing is like outside of that like while fast gameplay can be um overwhelming for some characters ganondorf i think does well when a character is playing too fast for their own good it's like cool you're, you're really gonna just smother me absolutely okay well when you mess up this one move you might just die for it so we'll have to see if beast mode paul not only just plays aggressive and you know maybe too fast for vg attic but but stays on top of their game the entire time yeah uh bounce coming out and I, every time, every time a hero is on screen, I hear people going, why is he using Bounce? This character doesn't have projectiles. What Bounce does is when you have it active, it's removed from the RNG pool. So it actually gives you better RNG on other moves. So I, it's insane to see hero with Bounce active at any time. Is it hey, fun fact. Afraid. Oh, no. <laughs> fun fact, up smash. <laughs> fun fact, you're dead. But anyway, so fun fact, you know the, uh, you know how um, heroes neutral B has three forms, right? Yeah. The first form is actually two proje uh, projectiles. Did you know that? Yes. I saw that video with Mewtwo. Yeah, okay. <laughs> that, that's where I learned it. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I knew it before then, just because my friend plays Mewtwo. Mm. Um, but, yeah, no, it's it's kind of dumb. Uh, and it definitely abuses the hell out of characters with big hitboxes like Mewtwo. Right. Okay, here we go, man. Beast Mode Paul trying to get something going here. Oh, went out there for the forward air. Not going to be able to get it, but the back, you're going to send him right off stage. Great tech. Wow. Good. That was beautiful. Okay. Still in this despite being at 140%, but he's got to play super careful because this off stage interaction could be the death of him, and it absolutely is the Beast Mode Paul. He doesn't charge it long enough. He goes down. That's very unfortunate, man. VG Addict should be taking big advantage of... Oh, not going to get the grab. Unfortunate. But yeah, this is huge for him right now. Because uh, Beast Mode Paul just basically threw away uh, almost a, a fresh second stock. And now VG Addict is up two stocks to one here. With a percentage lead on top of that as well. This could be awful for Beast Mode. But the thing is... Hero does have some wacky stuff, man. He could turn this around very quickly. And look at all this damage coming out. That's going to be a stock right there. <laughs> There it is, gonna catch him with the dash attack. Trying to land back on the on the uh, on the ledge, which is just not gonna work out. 78%, not not something to seize that, because Ganon absolutely could take the stock very soon, but it he parries like that. What a scary parry there, because if he had missed that, it was his life. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, dude. I feel like Beast Mode Paul is really kind of playing with fire here. But VG Attic keeps trying to run in with these forward airs. I saw two forward airs come out and just get absolutely beat out. He has to be careful. He has to be a bit, a bit better with his choices. The use of whack there, I think he wanted to go for a dash and grab. You know, force the shield out with whack hmm. and then punish with a grab. It just wasn't close enough to get it done. Oh. But now we're back. I This is absolutely even because they're both going to get the next hit. He's living. Or maybe not the next hit. He's still alive after that fair. Comes back down to stage, and this could be a big punish, but no great awareness from VG Attic to go to ledge instead of coming all the way up. Oh. Good fair there. He's still going to oh be living, God, though. Oh, my God. He's still living? It was a cross-stage fair, but that Nair at ledge is absolutely going to take him out, and it's mm -hmm. 66.9. Nice. VG Attic takes game one. Yep. No. Hey, uh... Good stuff to VG Attic. I mean, definitely took advantage of that uh, that second uh, second stock SD. Almost threw it away, though. So they got to clean that gameplay up just a little bit. But you know what? A win's a win. But, like, they, they have to play this game, too, that much better. Because I'm sure that Beast Mode is going to be a little more careful about, you know, recovering. They're not going to try and throw away a stock to nothing. So VG Attic has to be really on top of that stuff. Can't be flubbing anything. Got to keep that pressure on. Got to put that damage down. Got to eliminate those stocks. You put it perfectly. Um, and actually, I just noticed in the bracket, uh, if VG Attic takes the set, they get their rematch versus Quick Play Night. Ooh. Um, from, like, that was round one of this bracket. Actually, both these guys will get the rematch against uh, Quick oh, Play Night. Oh, that's true. So either way, we're going to see a grudge match rematch. Off the... Off the go he just comes out with the wizard's foot he comes out of the gate swinging and beast mode paul's in trouble oh, oh i thought he was going for the downer so did I'm upset I. he didn't go for it. i'm really so upset if you have the opportunity to go for a dare and you Ooh. don't go for it it is literally a cardinal sin okay uh. Ooh, that good could have been a huge side out, yeah good nair to beat out the crackle um mm -hmm. not quite going to catch him there but, uh, oh, I saw Magic Burst there, and I was scared for a second. Just going to use Sizzle instead. Really nice. Hang on. That was a beautiful ledge cancel up air. 
That was amazing. That was an amazing ledge cancel. Because uh, not only are you putting the pressure down on the ledge, but uh, as soon as they're on top of that platform, you were able to still get that hit. That's beautiful stuff. But, oh, big forward air. Going to be able to close out that stock. Does that actually allow Hero to actually die earlier as well? Is it one of those does, things? Does what? Which thing? Uh, when he has Oom for whatever on, doesn't that also I don't make him think, take more damage? I don't think it does the, the Smash Monado thing, no. I don't okay. think so. I thought I heard that one time. I don't know, man. Hero's got way too much stuff happening here. But hey, a big old side B. Not going to close out the stock, but that neutral B will. Good stuff to Beast Mode Paul. Uh, down about 18%, which is really nothing in this type of matchup. Right we'll now, he gets bit. the grab and gets a little bit more percent. That grab fair has been putting in so much work for him. And there it is again. Tries to land with Nair. No punish out of shield, though. And that's one of the biggest things about Ganon is that he doesn't really have the ability to punish out of shield. If you land on his shield, the best he's probably or the worst he's going to do to you is probably an up smash out of shield. Maybe if what you use on him is laggy enough. Mm -hmm. Good use of bounce right there coming out. 74% on VG Addict and still growing. So Beast Mode Paul, certainly not out of this set yet. He's coming out here swanging. Oh, there we go. There we, that's, that's exactly what you wanted. Yep, that's exactly what he's been looking for before. Uh, earlier, we saw him actually do that in Final Destination, but Ganondorf ended up going towards the stage, ended up getting a really nice tech. So, you know, kind of getting the lucky, the lucky bounce, I guess, this time. <laughs> I'll have to ask Nair about this later. I have no idea. Oh, oh, no. Don't worry. Oh, okay, that's not gonna kill. This oh. will. Nope. No. Oh, hang on. Okay. Wow. Like I'm saying, I'll have to ask Nair later about how it works because I have no. It seems random how up these sends opponents. Mm. It could just be a matter of like which tornado that you're in and how it sends out. But there we yeah. go. Okay, ready? You see the Wizard's foot sending him off stage here. Uh, VG Attic has a bit of ground to make up. Gonna get a little extra damage there. But man, Beast Mode Paul is doing a pretty good job. This could be trouble. He's gotta find a way to just stay away. Stay away. Just stay away. Don't don't go in. Don't don't approach. Run. Don't get aggressive because that's gonna be huge. Uh -oh. You're dead. No, He's not, not dead. Okay. Went for the down, down smash, smash for some reason. Uh, I think that might be Hero's fastest smash attack. Um. I think he might have had time to do a forward smash, though. Uh, forward smash really slow. I don't Whoa. think he did. But speaking of uh, things that kill, F tilt. Mm -hmm. That's a thing. Yeah. Okay, but 118 to 0 now. Oh, is that going to do it? Yep, that is absolutely going to close that up right there. We're going into a game three. Beast mode, Paul closing out that game two on Kalos. That's exactly what we needed to see from him. Uh, game three, going to be interesting. So, like... VG Attic did a really good job in that game, too. Like, I know I talked about in game one, he kind of got a little lucky with an SD, but still almost threw it away. So he needed to clean it up. He did clean it up pretty well there. Just unfortunately, I think he got caught up in a couple weird situations, and, and Beast Mode Paul was, you know, really doing a good job of taking advantage of that. But still, almost bringing that back himself. This game three should absolutely be a slobber knocker. I'm ready to see how this goes. Slobber knocker, indeed. And, you know, I'm actually very, very happy uh, with how you know how many of these sets have been going to game three because it's just more cool smash content for us to uh to vibe with now going into game three i wonder if a stage swap has come out game two is callous what was game one on what was that what was game one on was it ps2 uh final destination final destination you're right mm-hmm yeah, because we ended up seeing the uh, the SD from um, from Beast Mode Paul on the left side of this uh, this uh, wow the stage. Wow, that was rough. That was really tough to say. Uh, yeah. Um, I can't help you there. But going into game three, I'm gonna take a wild guess which stage we're going to, and I'm gonna say Smashville. Both of these players have shown a slight favoritism towards Smashville. Throughout the tournament, we've seen both of them play on it several times, so... Ah, nope, we're going back to FD. I've made a fool of myself, Skiff. No, I don't think we saw Beast Mode Paul on Smashville. He played yeah, Smashville we never versus Quick Play Night. No, he didn't. He didn't? No, because he played Damn. Frog. Or, uh, yeah, he did play Quick Play Night, but that was all PS2. Oh. Well, uh-oh. Yeah, I think we got a couple little lag spikes right there. It looks like they're doing okay. Whoa! Oh, but my. you know who's not doing okay is VG Attic losing I'm not an either, dude. early first stock. I'm not doing okay either. He's looking to take it right back with these Dorias immediately. But not quite going to find it just yet. Beast Move Paul doing a great job playing around what Ganon very obviously wants. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Great air dodge. That was playing with fire, though. And oh, I thought he was dead there. I thought he got him. 
And no, he's uh, definitely playing oh. with fire in all of these instances, but this time he's going to get burned. Back air going to take care of the stock. Back to the stage, returns Beast Mode Paul, but a great uppy out of shield at the mm -hmm. ledge. Going to do it right there. Yeah, it looks like Beast Mode Paul. I mean, I'm not not to try and jinx it, which I mean we've had commentator curses and blessings all <laughs> night tonight. <laughs> but uh if we know we know what you mean. <laughs> Don't have to say it. Don't. <laughs> okay. I won't say it. I won't say it. But it looks like a certain someone's gonna be taking that quick play night. <laughs> yeah, yeah. One of these two players will take on quick play night. You know? <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. But let's see uh, where it goes from here. Right now, man. VG. Oh, that could have been huge. <gasps> it's the down air, but it's not the. That's him. It. He's dead. He's dead. He didn't, he didn't, he didn't have to do that. that. <laughs> he just. He just quit out. He just unplugged his. He just unplugged his landed after, dude. Look at that. <laughs> I would have. He didn't have to, man. Beast mode, Paul. That. Listen, Beast mode, Paul is a man of the people, a highlight reel, a champion, you could say. And I love Beast mode, Paul, and you should too. Woo.